The Pushkin State Museum of Fine Arts is a museum complex that is currently in possession of one of the largest world art collections from ancient Egypt and Greece to our days. Today the holdings of the museum 700,000 contain around artworks of different epochs. The jewel of the collection is French art of the 19, XX centuries, one of the most famous collections of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist paintings in the world. The museum founded in 1912 is located in the historical center of Moscow, not far from the Kremlin. Each year the Pushkin Museum presents the world-class exhibitions to the public. For the past year the museum has realized 43 projects in Moscow, abroad and in regions of Russia. Among them are the exhibitions The Cranux, Between Renaissance and Mannerism, Leon Baxt. In honor of the 150th anniversary of the artist's birth, Raphael. Poetry of the Image, Olympia by Edouard Manet from the collection of the Museum d'Orsay, Icons of Modern Art. The Schicken Collection in the Foundation Louis Vuitton, Paris. Despite its name, the museum has no direct association with the Russian poet Alexander Pushkin, other than as a posthumous commemoration. The facility was founded by Professor Ivan Tsvetiv in 1912. Tsvetiv persuaded the millionaire and philanthropist Yuri Nechiv Maltsov and the architect Roman Klein of the urgent need to give Moscow a fine arts museum. After going through a number of name changes, particularly in the transition to the Soviet era and the return of the Russian capital to Moscow, the museum was finally renamed to honor Pushkin in 1937, the 100th anniversary of his death. The museum is also open to contemporary art and attempts to engage modernity and classic artworks in a mutual dialogue. Due to the active scientific, research, and exhibition activities, music festivals, artistic and educational work with adults and children the Pushkin Museum is now one of the most important cultural centers of Russia, which is visited by more than one million people per year. Nowadays the museum is going through extensive reconstruction, the development of the museum town will be the first of its kind in Russia. During the Bolshevik Revolution, works by French Impressionists and modern artists were confiscated and then exhibited in the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg before being privately stored. In 2019, those works reappeared and some of them rejoined the Pushkin Museum one in 1981, the museum held the Moscow-Paris exhibition. In 2016, art historians discovered 59 Italian Renaissance sculptures in the Pushkin Museum that had been missing from Berlin's collection since the Second World War. In March 2022, the museum's deputy director Vladimir Opridolinov resigned to protest against Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The building of the Pushkin State Museum of Fine Arts was designed by Roman Klein and Vladimir Shukhov. Construction lasted from 1898 until early 1912, with Ivan Rehrberg heading structural engineering effort on the museum site for the first 12 years. In 2008, President Dmitry A. Medvedev announced plans for a $177 million restoration. A 22 billion rubles, $670 million, expansion, developed by Norman Foster in collaboration with local architectural firm Miss Project 5, was confirmed in 2009, but became mired in disputes with officials and preservationists and concern grew that it would not be completed on schedule for 2018. After Moscow's chief architect Sergei Kuznetsov issued an ultimatum, demanding that Foster take a more active role in the project and prove his commitment by coming to the Russian capital within a month, Norman Foster's firm resigned from the project in 2013. In 2014, Russian architect Yuri Grigoryan, and his firm project Meganom, were chosen to take over the project. Grigor Yan's design provides new modern buildings and, following the protest of heritage groups who campaigned to save the pre-revolutionary architecture, preserves the historic 1930s gas station near the Pushkin's main building inside a glass structure. The holdings of the Pushkin State Museum of Fine Arts currently include around 700,000 paintings, sculptures, drawings, applied works, photographs, and archaeological and animalistic objects. The earliest monuments from the museum collection are pieces of Byzantine art, mosaics and icons. The early stage of development of Western European painting is represented by a relatively small collection of Italian primitives. The Hall of Early Italian Art was opened on October 10, 1924. The Department of Prints and Drawings was founded in 1924, 
when the museum received the holdings of the printing cabinet of the Moscow Public and Rumyan Safe Museum. In 1861, Alexander II made a valuable gift to the printing cabinet, the Moscow Public and Rumyan Safe Museum received more than 20,000 prints from the Hermitage. The collection of Western European sculptures includes more than 600 pieces. The museum has expanded its holdings over the years and currently owns artworks from the 6th to 21st centuries. The first artifacts presented to the Museum of Fine Arts were sculptures from Mikhail Skakin's collections. After the revolution, the museum received sculptures from nationalized collections. The collection of decorative art pieces from Europe includes around 2,000 items. The earliest are from the Middle Ages, and the set as a whole is very diverse. The Museum of Fine Arts was intended primarily as a museum of classical arts. Ancient artifacts were the core and the main components of its collection, and the Department of Antiquity was one of the three major scientific departments. Its founder and director, Ivan Tsvetiev, 1847-1913, was an expert in ancient art, as were his closest associates, Vladimir Malmberg, 1860-1921, and Nikolai Skirbakov, 1884-1933. Most of the objects presented in Hall No. 1 have been on display since the museum opening in 1912 and come from the collection of Vladimir Golanishchev, 1856-1947. The museum holdings of genuine artifacts of Southwest Asia are based on the collection of Russian Orientalist and Egyptologist Vladimir Golanishchev. The antique collection of the Pushkin State Museum of Fine Arts includes many genuine artifacts, more than 1,000 vessels, small plastic pieces, and sculptures. The collection of casts and copies, typical for European museums of the 19th century, is unique today in its preservation and consistency. With a similar cohesiveness, Tsvetiev wanted to present plastic art of the modern era and complete the collection with casts made from contemporary sculptures, where Auguste Rodin's works would take the central place. Today, the holdings of the numismatics department of the Pushkin State Museum of Fine Arts form a collection in excess of 200,000 items and 3,000 volumes of the special library. It was started at Imperial Moscow University. In 1888, the collection was divided and formed the basis for the major numismatic collections of Moscow that belong to the Historical Museum and the Alexander III Fine Arts Museum. Since 1912, objects of ancient and Western European numismatics from the university collection were transferred to the sculpture department of the Fine Arts Museum and mostly kept packaged. By June 1925, museum custodians had grouped together a number of cases with coins, medals, and casts and created the numismatic cabinet located on the balcony of the White Hall. In 1945, the museum's numismatic cabinet became an independent department. It includes archaeological material from Central Asia, such as a hoard of Kashano-Sasanian coins acquired in 2002. <laughs>